Mr. Ed here. Today is June the 12th. June the 12th, 2021. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana. Man, look, we're right on the edges of the marsh. We got, we're going to show you later on where we actually are here. We got the bayou, the marsh right behind the house. And then all around us is just a swampy area. And it's a main highway. That's what you hear the traffic going by behind us on the side of us. But behind us, look at this. We got some bees in some kind of box thing. I don't understand what's really going on with this. But the bees have gotten up inside of where all this stuff is coming together and they built the box around it and the bees have gotten into it. Today we got the three amigos. That's right. Wreck it out. And good time, Charlie. Now see, or how do you know they're in the frame, Charlie? I have no idea. Look, we but got it working. Are they all in it? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Who's Charlie. missing? Here, watch. Just turn it. Oh, it's because we're too short. No, I was trying to. Get close to the camera. Get close to the camera. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> it's us. Look who we got. The three amigos. Wreck and roll. Hey, good time, Charlie. That's right. We're all here on the job, back together once again, and we're going to help out Jules. She's got the little bees right here. She's got a big party tomorrow. She's got everybody coming over, and she's so nervous about the bees hurting somebody and the, or the bees getting hurt. She asked us if we come out and take care of it. By the grace of God, these little bees right here up in Slidell, they're coming up to the Abbey and become Abbey honeybees. Let's wrangle, guys. Let's do it. What I'm going to do is, they have this electrical pipe that's screwed to this box and I'm going to pull the screws out the electrical pipe. It ought to move over pretty easily. We're going to take the sideboard off, pull it down, and then see if we can get the bottom. And that'll expose the whole thing so Jeff can get in there and do his magic. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> without getting stung. Right? Do yeah, because today is too hot. We don't want to wear a suit. Right. It's, it's way hot. too hot. I did not bring the smoker with me today because actually this job was not the job that we were supposed to go into. We were supposed to be doing an interior job and it was just going to be sheetrock removal. But so I didn't need the, sh the smoker. But we changed our, our ideas and we came and did this one and I don't have the smoker. So I'm going to pull this sheet of plywood down that Ralph just undid and hopefully it'll come down. But the bees, it, yeah, it's going to be a little bit. Harry, I think. There you go. <laughs> now we've got access. So we'll let these bees calm down a little bit and we'll get to them. With the plywood out of the way, I can now access the hive and right up at the top. Now, I still have to contend with all this stuff out here, but at least we've got an area where I can start cutting comb and pulling it out of there. Nice bees. Uh, I think we're going to really do good with this one.
I wanted to show you what I'm looking at <laughs> or contending with. So we knew that the electrical box and all the wires were coming up, but I had no idea it was going to be like this. Look at this. And the bees have just gone around the wires and oh, it's a mess. But it, it's really not that dangerous because I know I see the wires. I'm cutting in front of the wires. Everything is, is, is good. It, there's just so little space to work up in here. And I think there's four more sections of comb to get. And there's sections over here by all that wire. It's just honeycomb. And I'll just scrape all that stuff out. That stuff we're not even going to be able to salvage. The homeowner is going to get almost all of this honey because we're going to be feeding these bees when we get them up to the abbey. I've got all of that brood comb out and we're back into the honey only section now and I believe there's only maybe one or two more sections there's a little section back there where a queen can hide as well as up in here there's a lot of bees over here so a little bit more work to get all this comb out of here and we got the Honey Bandit to run these bees. Folks, <laughs> it ain't there no more. Man, it, it was pretty good. Um, now, I didn't, the, the field bees, they must not have gone out this morning because they, they really never had a lot of them coming back in as we were doing it. And no robber bees, thank goodness. All right, let's go ahead and show you the bees, the comb, all that good stuff, and we're gonna wrap this video up. In this ice chest, this is all the brood that we got. But we got some great looking brood in here. We didn't keep any of the honey because I'm gonna go ahead and feed these bees. I didn't want a chance the brood getting ruined with the honey, so uh, we didn't put any honey in here. But I'll be feeding them, so that's good. And let me show you the bees. Yep, and here's our bees. That's, I'm telling you, this is a good 15, 18,000 bees. It was a lot of bees and, yep. There's Her Royal Highness, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and close the video up. Like I promised, we got a shot of the bayou right behind us. This is like such a beautiful area, Slidell. We're real close to the Wrigley's, which is right there by Lake Baum, which is right there by the Gulf of Mexico. It's a beautiful area and it's full of bees. In fact, my sister lives only about a quarter of a mile up the road from here. It's just a great area. So before we leave, we got Jules here, the homeowner, and I want to ask you, what was your experience of, of the bees, pulling the bees out of your house? It was the most fascinating thing I have witnessed in most of all my life. It was very <laughs> educational. It was, what do you it, think? I feel blessed. I feel blessed to be. So, what, great, great. What, what do you think was the best part about it? Tasting the honey. There you go. <laughs> that honey's got, it's, it's really thick, yes. sweet. It's some good tasting honey. She got a bunch yes. of it. So, Ralph, what do you say? 
and even got alligators here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Charlie and Ralph were all alligator hunting early, and Jules said she got a, a it's big about a, It's about a nine footer. <laughs> a big one. It alligator. went from seven to nine. <laughs> okay, but we're fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, what about you? Oh, I thought it was great. The breeze was great. I didn't have to work as hard today. It was great. He didn't even work up a sweat. The Not guy. even a sweat. We didn't even wear bee suits. Yeah, that's what was <laughs> so nice. All. Not at all. So I believe that's all we got on this one. So, Jules, you got anything to say? Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. And we'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed? Thanks for watching. No. <laughs> Mr. Ed, who are you? Oh, Jules. <laughs> of course. Wreck it out. And poor Charlie. And poor Charlie. <laughs> poor See y'all on the next video. God bless.